Less fucking clay pool. More fucking clay pool. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Something doesn't belong here. Random metal lies on ancient bio beach towels. Some beach gunk crusts over the metal rods. These metal bars penetrate the natural to form a jungle gym. Jungle gym, strange term, given the fact the jungle's already a gym for creatures that belong there. And the jungle gym, as we know it, has nothing to do with mass fertile landscapes, nothing to do with bananas, and everything to do with banana flavored medicine. The jungle gym is a stamp, it's a name tag, it's the flag we put on the moon something that doesn't belong there. I'm talking about my nipples, of course, but only because you dropped them up. These <laughs> don't belong here. Why did you get your nipples pierced anyway? Oh boy, how do I answer this? I was 15. Why did I do any of the stuff I did? Why did I reject any music made after 1979? The golden age, a period of musical discovery that started in the early 60s and ended after the punk movement broke everything in a good way. After the Sex Pistols ran out of bullets and everyone in the room counted the holes in their abdomens, every artist fell over, crusted up, paintbrush in hand. <laughs> they have drivers, cleaned up the yeah. mess, armed with synthesizers, pocket-sized orchestras, just put in a quarter for the next hour. Music as a language lost its appeal, and by the year 2000, no one spoke the language at all. Wrong. Great music hit underground like the buried erudites beneath the planet of the apes. They were building visceral missiles for the boneheads above ground, so at 15, I was still running around with the savages devoid of language. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a sufficient answer to the nipple question, I guess. Maybe I wanted to feel alive. Pinch me with your nipple clencher so I know I'm not dreaming. No, not that either. Maybe I'm a pain junkie, a tree who wants to carve pictures into his own bark, or better yet, a block of clay who wants to painfully shave away bits of himself with a scalpel until he's happy with what remains. We need the Zamboni drivers to come back and clean up the skin cells we shed during adolescence. Maybe I just wanted to look cool and wild in front of my well-pierced older friend. But you know, I think it's things like getting nipple piercings that make me happiest. It's frolicking on the ground, making people question why. It's consuming piles of rotten fruit when ripe fruit is cheaper. Why did you get your nipples pierced? Why do you listen to that noise? Why do you write weird poems? The irrational things we do are the most important. I live for the uncontrollable, irrational things I do to please a lover and for the need to satisfy my muse with strange expression. Hold on, that dirt mound doesn't belong there. Backstory, William Cullen Hart buried a tape recorder on the side of the highway and later manipulated the sounds. Maybe the people beneath the planet of the apes found this tape recorder in the liminal dirt and finally understood an action done by a surface dweller. Maybe that was enough to lay down the missile for another day. The thing that doesn't belong is integral sometimes. Maybe the weird things we do that most people don't understand somehow save our lives and maybe they just result in nipple infection. Yeah. <laughs>